Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. In today's vlog, I am going to set up my Vell RSL 50 wheels that I mentioned uh, and did an unboxing of in a previous vlog. Now, before I get started, I do have an apology to issue. Uh, I made a mistake in my previous vlog about these wheels. Um, I had said that I was waiting on some spare parts from DT Swiss to arrive because there was a maintenance issue um, with the hubs. Um, DT Swiss do have a maintenance issue with some of their hubs at the moment. Um, however, it is the Ratchet EXP hubs. So it would have been the 240 EXP hubs that had the problem, not the 240S hubs, which are the hubs that are on my wheels. Um, now that I've kind of cleared that up and figured that out, I'm ready to get the wheels set up get them on the bike and give them a test run. So uh, I'm going to today get the cassette on, get the disc brakes on um, and set them up tubeless. Now I'm out in the garage for this because the last time I tried to set up uh, tubeless wheels, you can go and watch the video, um, I got sealant everywhere. So rather than getting sealant all over the floor of my house and all over my clothes, um, I've decided to do it this time in the garage and hopefully it will be a little less messy. Or if it is messy, it shouldn't matter so much. Okay, so first up I'm going to get the cassette on and then I'll move on to getting my disc brakes on. Okay, when putting a cassette on your wheels, always, always use a torque wrench to tighten things up. In fact, you should use a torque wrench whenever tightening anything um, on your bike. This cassette has a torque value of 40 newton meters, so I'm gonna get that torqued up now, make sure it's nice and tight, but not over tight. It's always slightly worrying when torquing to 40 newton meters like this requires because it seems like an awful lot of torque but as long as you have a torque wrench it'll be totally fine. I'm going to move on now and put the, uh, the disc brake rotors on the front and rear um, and I'm going to actually wear gloves while I do this because uh, you really don't want to contaminate your disc brakes even with oils from your skin um, or anything like that. Disc brakes again need to be torqued onto the wheel, onto the, the hub. Uh, again, the torque value for these uh, Ultegra, Shimano Ultegra disc brakes is 40 newton meters. So I've got that torqued on at 40 newton meters now. So that's the rear wheel done in terms of cassette and disc, uh, disc rotors. Um, so now I'll get the disc rotor on the front wheel and then get the tires on. The wheels are set up mechanically. I'm now gonna take the wheels off my Canyon and I'm gonna reuse the tires that I have on the Canyon. So I have Schwalbe Pro 1 TT tubeless tires on the Canyon. And I'm just gonna reuse those. Those tires are still good. And so I'll take, take the wheels, take the tires off the Canyon. While I have the wheels and everything off the Canyon, um, I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean degrease uh, the chain, the chain set, all that kind of stuff while the wheels are off anyway um, and before I put my nice new clean cassette on. Top tip for uh, cleaning your frame, baby wipes. Seriously, baby wipes do a great job. Well, I use them to clean my frame. Um, I do give my bike a full proper wash every so often as well, but just to keep on top of it, can't go wrong with a pack of baby wipes.
Okay, so while the uh, drive train degreaser is getting to work on the bike components, I am going to turn my attention to setting up the tubeless wheels. Okay, I'll be honest, that was a bit of a pain, but I now have two Vell RSL 50mm carbon disc wheels set up and ready to go on the bike. Um, so yes, it was a bit of a pain to set up. I don't think that is the fault of the wheels or the fault of the tyres. I think that's my fault to be honest. I don't have a track pump with a reservoir so it took a normal track pump and some soapy water to get the to get the tires on. So my recommendations for setting up tubeless tires um, one is do it outdoors or somewhere where you don't mind making a bit of a mess as you can see from the video and see behind me I've made a bit of a mess and two probably get a track pump with a reservoir so that you can build that pressure up and release it all at once and get those tires seated nice and easily. Um, having said that, although it was a bit of a pain, I'm still definitely a fan of tubeless and I do still take one inner tube out with me when I'm on rides but I am a big fan of tubeless. You can run at lower pressures, it's more comfortable and hopefully I'm going to get myself some tubeless plugs which means I'll not even need to take a tube or anything with me, just a just a pump and a tubeless plug. So, um, wheels are set up. I've given them a bit of a, a wash as well to clear off any of the uh, excess sealant that was um, dripping down the sides. So now it's just a matter of getting the wheels on the bike and getting out for a spin. Okay, future Connor here. Um, this video was getting way too long to be one vlog. So I'm going to end the video here and then in the next video, I will take quills out for a test spin and give you my, I guess, um, thoughts on them after initial use of them on the bike. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching the videos. Please like, leave me a comment, hit subscribe down below, uh, switch on the little bell icon to get notifications for when I put up um, the third video in this series on the Vell RSL 50 wheels and any future videos. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.